always loved surfing all my life and uh, it's, it has become my job and my career and I love it. It's like the best lifestyle I could ever ask for but I would not want to have surfing like a thing that I have to do. It's like I want to go surfing and I don't want to have to make myself feel like I have to do things. And I just want to stay motivated myself and just want to keep improving and want to train and, and want to go out there every day. I think uh, the HPC is doing an incredible thing and uh, the fact that they're bringing professional surfers that a lot of people look up to and uh, bringing them here and so the kids get to hang out with them and like watch them firsthand, I think that's so cool and uh, I would have loved to have done that back in the day. I remember I just looked up to Stephanie so much and to, if I had been able to go to a camp with her and she has that, she has that now and so I just kind of feel how stoked those girls would be to see her and like, and it's cool that they, they're getting stoked off seeing me and it's, it's a cool feeling for sure. An all girls camp like the Laura Enova camp, it's um yeah, it's amazing to be a part of and and really important I think for these young girls to know that, you know, surfing is such a good lifestyle and it's healthy. For someone like Laura, it is really you know, rewarding. Um, you see the happy faces that these girls get, they light up when she comes into the room and um, it is really special, you know, for us coaches. You know, to have these, you know, pro surfers that are on the tour come and, and um, give a little bit of their time. One of the girls, uh, her name's Pasha, and at the Roxy Pro this year, my first event, I gave her a surfboard. She was busking because she didn't, she wanted to raise enough money to buy her first surfboard. And she was busking for a board and I was like, you know, that's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. And I gave her one of my boards and she was so stoked. I was busking and she came and danced with me and then she went away and came back and danced and then she went away and then when she came back she had um, a surfboard and um, I thought she wanted me to sign it because she had a pen with her but um, she gave me um, the board. And ten minutes later they actually kicked her off the ground so she wouldn't have been able to like raise money anyway so she's been riding that board all year and I've been keeping in contact with her and I haven't seen her until today. After that we I went with her to the Roxy Pro and watched that with her in the VIP section. She's getting better and um, I don't know, it was just cool to take her out there and, and get her in the ocean because she only just started and she started with my board. When I look at these girls in here and like this, I, I kind of see myself and like see exactly what they are because I remember when I was back there and I was 13 and, and 12 and just like surfing, doing like the little drum search contest and like getting so stoked off that and getting so stoked and competing and uh, and like, I don't know, I feel like these girls, like some of them could be like my best friends growing up in, in like a few years' time and uh, I don't know, to look back and like see, look at me when I was a little grom looking up to Steph and, and all those girls and, and now being next to them, it, it's pretty surreal but it's, it's incredible and I'm, yeah, it's kind of crazy and blinking an eye and it's, it's there.